Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avindian, welcoming you to a new episode of Out of the Park Baseball 19. With the originally 1972 Philadelphia Phillies now entering 1976. Last season was a bit of a downer. Um, we had the number one lineup in baseball, and yet that wasn't nearly good enough to get us into the playoffs. We came close. We were 85 and 77, only four games out of first place. But we fell apart against Pittsburgh toward the end of the season, and they just destroyed us. Um, and that was enough for them to make the playoffs, and, and we didn't. So let's review the season. We had a great season, and I mean a great season, from rookie Christopher Hermano. Um, he played a very strong second base, led the league in walks, hit a two seventy five average, I think would see more out of him, 35 doubles, um, and he played an okay second base. And that's really what you want, isn't it? Um, he did everything you expected to and more as a rookie, and I think he'll probably win the rookie of the year. He even stole 20 bases and only got caught five times. Um, Mike Schmidt had a very fine year of his own, um, building upon his very successful 1974 to be even more successful in 1975. Um, led the league in homers and in RBI. And managed it at 259. So, again, I can't complain about his season. He even played pretty well at third base. Next, we have Bobby Bonds. And Bobby Bonds started the season like a house of fire and then cooled off dramatically toward the end. Ended up having the same OPS as last year. But since we moved him to center field and he was god-awful there, that creates an issue. Um, our one major offseason signing, Steve Hoons, delivered in his first season, uh, hitting a career high in home runs, hitting some doubles, drawing some walks, not hitting for a very high average, but playing shortstop pretty well. Oscar Gamble got a chance to play for a full season, and he was another one that looked super good to start the season, right? And then he just kind of fell apart. He was also dreadful in the outfield. Greg Lizinski. If any one player cost us the playoffs, it's Lizinski. Which is really bad timing for him because he's going to be a free agent next year. And I'm not going to give him a great big contract if he's going to give me this garbage. I mean, he only at 269... Um, didn't draw any walks, hardly hit for any power. This was a bad season. And he's only 24. So, Stearns was a bit of a disappointment. Um, if he's hitting 260, he's good. If he's hitting 230, he's not. And despite a pretty good year as a catcher, Stearns took a big setback. And then we have Beal, who I got really excited about at the beginning of the season. First base is just an area we have to fix. Um, we have to fix it somehow in the offseason. Alright. If we were going to keep only Gamble or only Luzinski, I think it's pretty obvious we keep Luzinski. But let's take a quick look at arbitration. Okay, we got Dave Downs. Downs really didn't do much for us. He pitched a bunch of low a low leverage innings that didn't do so super great. I'm going to go ahead and let him... I'm going to non-tender him. Roy Thomas, I'll bring back. Gro, Legro. I think I'll bring him back. Reynolds, I'll give another shot to. I'm going to trade Freed. I'm going to see if anyone will offer me anything for him. We're overpaying for a mediocre backup catcher, and that's just not something I'm willing to do. Can I at least get someone young? Okay, Rich McKinney. Hmm. 
Yotori hits for contact and is an okay all-around hitter, but still... I think we can do better. I think we're just going to non-tender freed at this point. Uh, Stearns, I will happily uh, keep. That's a fair offer for Beal. Bissett can walk. That's a fair offer for Woods. I will not offer arbitration to Tito Fuentes. I will to Hoons. I definitely will to... Uh, Champion actually would like to just resign. I think Champion has some potential. And Mickelson if we can get away with it both. So let's offer you an extension. You want 95 grand to play for three more years. Done. Mickelson. You want a little bit more money. Let's bring you back on a three-year deal, but I want two of them to be team options. Because I just don't trust you. Ah, there we go. There we go. That'll at least help us bring back part of our bullpen. I'm going to flip Oscar Gamble. Nothing he does is outstanding. And he's so such a liability in the outfield. If I trade Gamble, I can put Bobby Bonds back in right field. And I think that'll solve a lot of our problems. So. Okay. Wait, what? He's included in a pending... On oh, we need to see if he's going to accept free agent... If he's going to accept arbitration. I'd rather have the draft pick. Will I offer Fuentes arbitration? I'd like to get the draft pick, but I genuinely can't see me keeping him anyway. I'm actually worried he'd accept. And he's not a good fit on this team. So I'll just let him walk. And no one here to get too fussed about. Right. So biggest areas of concern. Actually, let's do the meet the team screen. This is a good one. We need a first baseman. I want a new center fielder so I can put Bobby Bonds back and right. Let's actually go ahead and move him over to right now. Yeah, Bobby Bonds I think will be a lot happier if we make him a right fielder. Because he can't play center. He tried. I gave him every opportunity. He just screwed up too much. Um, let's proceed for now. Let's sim through the award season. A trade proposal. You will trade me a pretty good reliever, but you're wanting Dower. Oh, Dower already looks really good. No. I can't do that. I'm not that desperate. I'm not going to hand off a second baseman who could be a, a major league starter. No matter how good Hermano is, you can never assume that you'll do better. Okay, we got champion back. That's pretty good. And get some stability in the bullpen. Although we do need to upgrade the bullpen too. Oh, Mickelson signs and people seem pretty happy about that. I would be stunned if we don't get rookie of the year with Hermano. Hermano might even get a handful of down ballot... Um, MVP votes. Uh, oh, Bobby Bonds was center field. Some dude. Daryl Evans won the Silver Slugger. That's actually a really good season. You know what? I'm not going to complain. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, yeah, Hermano was almost unanimous. Andre Dawson had a very good year. Two, though. And then... Did we win any gold gloves? I doubt it. Um, 
Don Wilson won MVP. Okay. I think too many pitchers are winning MVP. I might actually turn that off. This is getting a bit ridiculous. Reliever of the year. Tug McGraw didn't have a chance. He wasn't that great this year. And let's look at the gold gloves. Yeah, I can't really argue with this. We need a better defensive outfield. It's not an option. It's a requirement. If Gamble rejects arbitration, I want him back on a one-year deal. I want him back on a one-year deal. I think we're going to lose him, though. I think he's going to choose to sign for free. I think he's going to... If I were Oscar Gamble, I would go for free agency. It just makes sense. And I won everything. I won all the things. Good. But who's going to take arbitration and who's going to file for free agency? Gamble and Hoons both did it. Okay. So step number one, we need a first baseman. I'm tired of trying to make Beal handle it. And our draft pick's going to be crap this year, right? Bill Buckner would be a pretty solid first baseman. He would fill in nicely for Oscar Gamble. Okay, he's a type A free agent. What about Frank Robinson? Frank Robinson just wants a crap ton of money. But the question remains, I mean, he's better than what we got. That's um, beyond dispute, but... Okay. So let's start by looking at just first baseman. Bob Spence is an interesting choice. Good power, good batting eye. Other than that, not that thrilling. Buckner is a type A free agent. We lose our first round draft pick. But he's such a good all-around hitter. The thing is, the bidding for Buckner is going to be through the bloody roof. I'm going to offer him a deal right away. And we'll see if he takes it. If he doesn't take it, I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to be the guy who just gets driven up. A one-year deal for Frank Robinson will curse us with bad defense at a position where defense isn't that important. But he wants a five-year deal. No. I just can't, bro. Bob Spence would be a nice under-the-radar signing. Oh, what? Oh, I think I just found him. Wes Parker would actually represent... He's a good contact here with good discipline. Doesn't strike out much, and he plays pretty good defense. Last year kind of sucked for him, but last year was the last year he hit... Was the first year he hit under 270 in a very long time. And he's super cheap. So I will happily sign him. Uh, I was going to give you a guaranteed major league deal, but sure. Alright. I'd also like to pick up, if I may, possibly a center fielder. Amos Otis, too expensive for us. Good, but too expensive. And I'm not sacrificing, yeah, I'm not paying that much money for him. Elliot Maddox, decent hitter, meh. Meh. A good defender, but nothing else. I mean, he'll cost very little money, so I think we can pony up a tiny bit of cash here. Okay. Uh, what about relievers? I think this is probably a good 
Ricky Clark. Done. I'm going to offer people some minor league option deals. Could bring John Hiller back. And I think I will put in an offer for Paul Lindblad. What? He better not be. He's a type B. Not worth it. Carl Morton. No compensation. Almost as good. Morton would actually might be a starter on our team. I'll sign you. Okay. So we got some offers out there. Uh, ooh. Before anything else, rule five. Anybody's contract coming up who I need to make sure is on the 40-man. Not really, actually. How did Marshall Brandt handle double A? He did pretty well. That's the other downside about signing someone like a Bill Buckner is I don't want to block Brandt. And I think Brandt is going to be pretty okay. I can't handle Beal again, but... And we do still need a new shortstop. Um, is there an even better shortstop than Hoons? Probably not. I could bring in Freddie Patek, who's just, yeah. Mm. I actually like that he's bringing in Danny Thompson. He's a lot younger, he's cheaper, and he's a really good shortstop who has enough of a hit tool that he won't embarrass himself. As opposed to a Steve Hoontz. And I'm not paying for that season. Um, yeah, I will sign Danny Thompson without a shadow of a doubt. Is he even really popular? Hmm. Okay, let's go up to the winter meetings. Yeah, if Buckner goes like absolutely batshit for me, I'll sign him. But other than that, I wouldn't even give Brandt a shot in spring training. A personal message. We got Parker and Blair. Both of whom I think will be very fine uh, additions to our roster. Parker could play first base for us and handle the position well. Uh, Carl Morton, Danny Thompson, yeah, draft pool. This is a good draft. We got Wade Boggs, Mike Sosha, Tony Pena, Alan Trammell, Mike Scott, Pat Tabler, Steve Kemp, Bob Brenly. I would pee my pants if I could get Alan Trammell. There's not a snowball's chance in hell he'll fall to me. There just isn't. I, he won't. Someone's going to grab him in like the top 10. And I don't have a top 10 pick. That's a really good draft class though. Like a crazy good draft class. I tried for Buckner. I am not willing to cough up that much money for him. A trade proposal. You would send me a pretty good shortstop. And a man pitcher for Christopher Hermano. No. I'm not saying I wouldn't move him. And we do need a shortstop. But no. Oh, did we sign does any of the guys we signed? Okay. We don't wanna up we don't wanna promote them now. Hall of Fame voting. Who we got? Bob Allison, nope. Yogi should have been in last year. Ken Boyer, I like good third baseman too much. 
Rocky Colavito, no. Drysdale. I said I would vote for him, and I see no reason to change my mind. Harvey Kuhn, nope. Sherm Lawler, yes. He's a pretty solid catcher. No, no, no. Super yes. I don't know why people aren't more people aren't voting for Duke Snyder. It just doesn't make sense to me. But whatever. Oh, we got Danny Thompson and we got Carl Morton. Very nice. I'm surprised Danny Thompson was so popular, but okay, sure. Carl Morton. Okay, he'll be a free agent next year. I actually would not at all mind talking extension with you right now. Yes, I think a two-year deal would be more than adequate. All right, let's sim up to the draft. I'll get a supplemental first round pick for losing Oscar Gamble. How much did the Orioles pay him, by the way? I'm curious. They paid him a lot of money. That's superstar money. Oscar Gamble is not a superstar. Gamble's a good role player on the right. Gamble's a, 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 a top-notch player. He's not 200 grand a year good. Um, and I'll get another supplemental first-round pick for losing Huntz. That's okay, though. I Yeah, Huntz may have been popular. Who did he sign with? The Mets. Okay. Ugh! Oh, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call a shit contract. 340 grand for a good shortstop whose only real hit tool is being able to draw walks is beyond bloody stupid. I'm not saying he's not a good player. I'm saying he's not 340 grand good. So, to give you an idea, um, where's Steve Carlton? I'm pretty sure we're paying Steve Carlton 340 grand. Yeah. Are you going to sit there and tell me he's as good as Steve Carlton, even in a bad year like last year? No, he's not. That was just dumb. We had a really good year. Nolan Ryan kicked ass this year. Did Nolan Ryan get any down ballot? Oh, he finished third in Cy Young voting. Even though he didn't lead the league. Oh, he did lead the league in strikeouts. Okay. Good year. Very good year. Okay. Sorry, I need to stop drooling over my team. Okay, this is the year we rebuild our farm system into something reasonable. Not glorious, maybe, but reasonable. Okay. First year player draft. I want Alan Trammell so badly. Mike So should be a really good pick, too. I'm more looking to get like Danny Darwin, though. So my pick's number 13. There is no way I'm getting one of the top players in this draft. It just isn't a possibility. Like... Wade freaking bo Look at this draft. Wade Boggs, Ricky Henderson, Alan Trammell. Damn, that's a good draft. Who's California going to pick? I wonder if they're going to take Ricky. What? Billy Sample's a good player. He's not. This was dumb. This was really dumb. Uh, oh, draft log. That's what I wanted to check, right?
There's Trammell. There's Ricky. Ricky's a Detroit Tiger. White Boggs went to Atlanta. Steve Kemp got drafted pretty high. Jeff Leonard. Pat Tabler. Mike Scott. I really would have liked to get Mike Scott, but oh well. Leon Durham is pretty trash, so this means I've got some interesting players. Jesus Alfaro. This is the easiest decision I've ever made. This, there's... So basically, if I trust my scout, this is a brilliantly easy and obvious decision. He's a guy who's going to hit 300, draw a bunch of walks, never strike out, and play really good shortstop. Am I willing to bet that heavily when there's also a player like Dickie Thon? Thon is the safer choice, but he's also a garbage shortstop. Oh, this is this is. I'm, I think I'm making this harder than it should be. I'm gonna trust my scout, and we're gonna make him a draft pick. He's too good. This is the kind of player that you could build a franchise around if we're right about him. If we're not right about him, well, we'll look very stupid. Ozzy Virgil. Okay. Are there any reasonable starters left? There's Pete Redfern and Don't Call Me Shirley. Bob Shirley's actually a really good pick. Yeah, easy choice. We need pitching. Grab him. Done. Steve Trout. Do we go the Steve Trout route? Hmm, maybe not. Floyd Bannister, his control's not very exciting. Neither is Pete Redfern's. Okay. Now let's go back to all players. I don't really need another second baseman, I'll be honest with you. Especially not one with no hit tool. Jim Beswick is an all-around quite good hitter. That OSA doesn't believe in. I'm going to trust my scout. <laughs> Let's look at batting potential. Who's got the best bat left in the draft? We think Glenn Hoffman is going to be an amazing hitter. And OSA think he's going to be trash. But you know what? I'm going to do it. This is the Avindian trusts his scout draft. Because if I don't trust my scout, these are almost all uniformly terrible ideas. Mark Corey, do it. Another all or nothing type. This draft has P or pants potential if these players work out. The problem is I'm not so sure that they will. Uh, David Palmer. No, you're impossible. Oh, you're so impossible. Steve Finch, he's going to be impossible, I'm sure. Yeah. Kim Seaman. Sure. You at least have a chance, and your name makes me laugh. So, let's do it. And then I don't care who we take for the rest of the draft. Alright, this is very much a make-or-break draft for my drafting strategy. Because Alfaro, more than any other player we've ever drafted, well, with a couple of other exceptions... There's just such a huge difference between what we think he can do and what the AI thinks he can do. But I really like Alfaro to make it. I'd like the other players to make it too. But if Alfaro makes it... I mean, we got a franchise-type player. Can you imagine Mike Schmidt 
and Jesus Alfaro on the right side of the infield, I know I can for a very long time to come. Okay, So right away, once he signs, we're going to do something very important with him. How good was he in real life? Okay, Jesus Alfaro was a pretty fair player who never happened to make the majors. I'm fine with that. When Alfaro signs, we're gonna make a decision. We're gonna do something with him. Yep, uh, he hasn't signed yet. A bunch of other players have though. Yeah, literally every other draft pick except for him is signed already. Okay, is there anyone on the that I'm forgetting? Oh, Wes Parker. We will lose Parker and Blair if I don't put him on my 40, man. Yeah, okay. I'm actually just going to put him on the Major League roster. Uh, we could lose Tom Vazer, who's a good shortstop who can't hit. Apparently, these are at a premium these days, so maybe it's not such a bad idea to keep him. Butler's a center fielder who can't play center field. Screw you. Lyle makes me sad. Because you had so, we had such high hopes for you, and I just don't think you're ever going to capitalize on those. You need to get out of the Carolina League. You need to be in double A if you're going to make something of yourself. Did Dower play third tri triple A all year last year? No, he played in double A and then got kicked back down. Hermano's such a good hitter, it's going to be very hard for me to consider draft, uh, getting rid of him. Rule 5 draft. Let's do it. There's literally nobody worth taking here. I'm just going to complete the draft. I'm not going to take anyone. That was just disappointing. There goes Sparky Lyle again. This year he at least got to sign before spring training, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's the first of the new year, so we should actually be... Here we go. I'm just going to stop here. I just want to make sure that... Here we go. So Alfaro is going to be the first player that we're going to put on the disabled promotion demotion list. I will shortlist him. All right. So first of all, we're going to tell the AI, look... Jesus Alfaro is playing every single day at shortstop. And you're just going to have to accept that. Now, do we have something lower than A ball? I don't think we do. We do have the BC leagues. We don't have a real rookie ball league. Here's my problem. I'm worried about him handle. Well, we will keep a very close eye on him, and I will demote him if it seems like he needs it. But he was a first-round draft pick. We might as well give him a chance to either prove he can, uh, to prove he can swim, so to speak. Johnson and Richard. Is that J.R. Richard? I would go to see. Why will no one vote these guys in? Okay, how can you look me in the eye and tell me Duke Snyder is not a Hall of Fame center fielder? He can't. He keeps getting closer and closer, but people don't seem to want to vote him in. Early win has 300 wins. And I know, actually, as a pitcher, he wasn't all that outstanding. He just pitched a really freaking long time. But no one's voting for him. Sherm Lawler should have been a bloody slam dunk. In real life, by the way, Sherm Lawler was kind of meh. But in our version here, he's actually pretty solid.
Okay, you're not going to sit here and tell me he turned in exactly the same career. I think there's something going on here. You also says age zero. That means this isn't actually his career. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's the thing. Personal message. We didn't get any comp picks. I didn't want to though. We will be following our young friend's career extremely closely. I know we, we were kind of cheap this year. Oh, wow. You increased my budget, too. All right. Is there anyone whose contract is coming up that we need to lock in? Bobby Bonds can opt out. He would be stupid not to. Greg Lisinski's the big one. And I'm not going to rush him unless he's going to take... He wants a lot of money. I'm not saying I don't want to sign into a long-term contract. I want to see if he can bounce back. This was the worst season of his young career. I want two team option years. If you take that, I will offer you a new deal. Yeah, I'm good with that. You've been a solid pitcher for long enough that I there's no downside to not keeping you. Wayne Twitchell. Ooh, he wants a lot of money. Dumb. I'm not going to nickel and dime someone who's been crucial to my success. Everyone else can go take a flying freaking leap, but... McGraw, maybe. He hasn't pitched badly for us. He just hasn't pitched up to his potential. I will actually see what kind of extension he wants. Oh, he wants a lot of money. I'm not spending three hundred and twenty grand for a closer that's, to be honest, not even all that great. Oh, we got Norman. We got Twitchell back. And fans are pretty pumped. I'm doing a great job of cranking up that fan interest. Philly sports fans having low, um, what's your jigger? What am I thinking? Low loyalty is one of the biggest understatements in baseball history. In real life, people seem to hate Mike Schmidt. Which, it's, uh, it's Mike bloody Schmidt. How can you hate a player like that? But a lot of Phillies fans seem to believe that he was, like, dogging it or something. It's like, enjoy the fact you had a clear Hall of Fame third baseman. I'm sorry he wasn't even better, jerks. Um, okay. People's... Yeah, this is pretty typical. Um... I can't even give... Ri I can't even to myself justify... Wait, what the hell happened? Uh, Stuber, you are getting uh, an invite to spring training. The rest of you guys can all go take a flying leap. Marshall Brandt, I want some time. Dower isn't there yet. Yeah, I'm not even going to try with any of these others. Well, Quincy Hill is a lefty. Yeah, okay. I'll give him a chance. Sort by potential. Um, Brant, I'm not going to rush. But I'm starting to think that maybe OSA was right about him. But I'm saying this based off of one. I'm not being fair to him. I'm sorry, mate. I just drafted Bob Shirley, and he's making a pretty strong case of that he might want to 
that he might actually break camp in the majors. I'm not going to rush him, though. I haven't had a, a homegrown pitcher in quite some time. A homegrown starter, excuse me, that's really dominated. So. All right, mates. Bench coach, do your thing. Are there any position players who are maybe worthy? Juan Alvarez? No. No. I've got a really young minor league system, which I guess is interesting. Um, Except for, like, the high minors. That's a little older. When did I draft you? 1973. You've turned in two good years out of... With three bad, with one bad, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cripple, I'm not gonna ruin Hermano's confidence. Yes, yeah, Lazinski bonds and a bunch of garbage in the outfield, but it's whatever. All right, and then I'll let the AI go ahead and handle the pitching staff and just sort out who does what. I think, honestly, Nolan Ryan has probably earned being the starter, but, you know. This has been an interesting offseason. Um, we, we've mostly haven't spent a lot of money, which is kind of counter to what you'd expect. Um, you'd expect a team like us, who is fairly close to making the playoffs, to spend a lot of money, and there was just... God damn, Doug McGraw. There was just nobody. Um... Did anyone ever pick up Frank Robinson? I bet someone did. I'm actually going to go ahead and offer a deal to Ramon Hernandez. Oh, fuck you. No. You are not 400 grand a year good, mate. Did Bob Reynolds ever actually get healthy? Or did he literally just go from one injury to another injury? I don't think he was ever healthy. David Fanning. I'm going to put you on the 60-day DL. Um, which is actually unnecessary based on how actually injured he is. But I'm taking advantage of roster rules because I want him off the free man. I'm pretty much going to let him walk the next chance I possibly can. Have you finished all the spring training games? Not just yet. Oh no, he's hurt. Okay, it's just day to day. It's fine. It's interesting. Christensen got a tiny bit better. Hermano keeps getting... This is crazy. Luzinski picked up a little bit. Good. Good, good, good. We're going to sim to the end of spring training. And then we will take over... Okay, one more day. And we are finished. So I want to thank everyone for watching the video. Please remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Next time we'll take a look at the 1976 season. Thank you for watching, and until next time, this has been Avindian, and I bid you good day.